Hi, in this video I will explain the conservation of properties in particle interactions. In all particle interactions, four quantities must be conserved. Energy, momentum, charge and baryon number. Lepton number must also be conserved, but remember that leptons come in three different categories, electrons, muons and tauons, and that the lepton number must be conserved separately within each category. Strangeness is also conserved, but only in strong interactions. It is not always conserved in weak interactions. If a particle interaction does not obey all of the required conservations, it simply cannot occur. For example, is this strong interaction possible? A negative kion plus a proton decaying into a neutron plus a neutral pion. Well, let's check one at a time. So first of all, charge. A kion has a charge of minus one. A proton has a charge of plus one. And that decays into a neutron, which is neutral, and a neutral pion, which is, of course, neutral as well. So, in this case, charge is conserved. Let's check baryon number. A kion is not a baryon, it is a meson. A proton is a baryon, it has a baryon number of 1. A neutron has a baryon number of 1. And a pion is also a meson, with a baryon number of 0. So, baryon number is conserved. We could check each of the lepton numbers in turn. But since none of these are leptons, they will all be 0 on both sides. So lepton number must be conserved because none of them are leptons. Finally let's check strangeness. This is a strong interaction so strangeness must be conserved. Well a kion has a strangeness of minus one, a proton has no strangeness at all, neither does a neutron and neither does a pion. So this interaction is not possible via the strong force at least because strangeness is not conserved. Let's check beta negative decay, in which we know that a down quark turns into an up quark, producing an electron and an antineutrino. This takes place via the weak interaction, so strangeness does not necessarily have to be conserved. So let's ch check charge. Well, a down quark has a charge of minus one third. An up quark has a charge of plus two thirds, an electron a charge of minus one, and an antineutrino no charge at all. So on both sides of the calculation here we have a charge of minus one third, so charge is conserved. Let's check the baryon number. A down quark has a baryon number of one third, an up quark a baryon number of one third, and since electrons and antineutrinos are both leptons, they have baryon numbers of zero. Let's check for the electron lepton number. Down quark is not a lepton, so it has zero lepton number. An up quark, similarly, an electron has a lepton electron number of one, and an anti neutrino, an anti electron neutrino, in fact, in this case, I should clarify that, has a lepton electron number of minus one. So lepton electron number is conserved. We could check this again for the uh, muon lepton number and we'll find that would be zero all the way across. Let's check strangeness even though we know that strangeness doesn't necessarily have to be conserved. Well none of these particles have strangeness so it's inconsequential. So this interaction obeys all the conservation laws so it is possible and we know it's possible because this is beta negative decay. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.